Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're looking at a Loxley product and these are in the Loxley concept series. These are the Maloko darts. Now they're only available in 23 grams. Fun enough, that's what I throw. Yay! They're available from Premier Darts. They are £49.95 and they're 90% tungsten. So let's do the usual. Let's get these over the table. Have a good look at them. Get them on the board, meet back here, do a little recap, and then give them their ratings. Let's take a closer look at the Loxley Moloko darts. These are only available in 23 grams. As is part of the concept series, there's only one weight. Now these are available from Premier Darts and these retail at £49.95. You only get the barrels, you do not get flame, stems or flights, just the barrels. And this is a very, in my opinion, it's a very Simon Whitlock-esque dart. Let's start with the point. And the point is... 26.71 so it's a standard 26 millimeter point now it says on the website these should be seven millimeters by 50 millimeters so let's have a check so you've got 50.02 or well, 49.99 kind of get much closer than that and 7.04 so the dimensions are spot on drill depth at the rear this is 13.3, so this is going to be a front weighted dart. All the way it's going to be in the front of us, but you could have assumed that anyway. But let's have a closer look before we get on the scales. You've got a nice tapered nose, and it's just very wide, but not very deep radial grooves. Then you've got a scallop in the middle with the Loxley logo. Then you've got those grooves tapering down again right up to the rear where it would meet the stem. But it is a really nice looking dart. It's very well mean, made. You've got that polished tungsten finish. It just looks really nice. But it might not be enough grip in it for me. But we'll do that when we get to the throne section. But it's a nice looking dart. So let's get them on the scales. So we can get them over to the board. First start, 23.01, second start, 22.99, and the last start, 22.95, so 0 0.06 between the darts, plus or minus 0 0.05, that's within 0 0.03, so spot on. So this is the front of the Moloko Loxley darts. As you can see, you've got that very sharp point, tapering halfway up, goes parallel, then you get to that big tapered front nose. Then you come to the very shallow radius grooves. Now these are big, wide radius grooves. And these continue right up to the barrel. It tapers down towards the middle where you've got the little concave section. Then you get more radius grooves as it tapers up towards the rear of the barrel. This is definitely going to suit a player who likes minimal grip. It's got that bit of Simon Whitlock kind of look about it. So it'll be interesting to see how these go when I'm throwing them. So I've got the Loxley Moloko dart set up, as with the other concept darts, I've got the intermediate number two K-flexes in them with my custom orange colour. Oh, the grip on these is very, very low. 
I'm aiming for the 20s here. They are very slippy. If I grip in the middle where that scallop is, that's when I'm getting better push. I'm going to say the grip on these is a one and a half. That's me aiming for the 20s and every one of the darts. I'm just getting no push because the grip is gone on them. It's just too smooth a barrel for me. Yes, you've got that scallop, but there's no grip, there's no edge. So if you're a smooth type barrel person, this will definitely suit you. They, they go through the air really, really nice once you get the balance point of them. But it's getting to that balance point. Once you get used to them, they fly really well, but I prefer a bit more grip. So I'll have one more throw, then we'll go to the 2 1 challenge. Here goes. Forty one. Forty one. Double. Why one hundred and sixty? A nice little turn. One hundred. This really gets dangerous. Do we stay away from that treble? Oh, tried too hard. Oh, 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 oh. nearly double one. Twenty. Double. Do we require four? Oh man. A lot of my darts are going to the left with these because I'm not getting good push. Twenty-four. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number I don't know if that was in the 15 or in the 2. No score. No score. You're required 4. Oh, come on. Hey! That was a force field round up. Double. Yes, game shot. And a match! No score. So let's recap on the Loxley Maloko darts. Grip rating for these is on the front it's a one and a half, on the middle it's a one and a half, and at the rear it's a one and a half. They remind me so much of a hybrid Simon Whitlock, Mervyn King type dart with that scallop in the middle and the very, very minimal groove, minimal grip grooves, but they fly really good. I really liked them. Value for money, concept series dart, it's a 10 out of 10. The only thing is, I just hope they change the packaging. 
because the packaging is quite grim, to be honest, because the darts poke through the plastic. Based on my my Gen 5s, I was going to say RVB Echoes, don't use them anymore. I use a Gen 5 Stephen Buntons. They get a 6 out of 10. They're not high up the scale, but they're not low. In above a 5, I'd happily pick up. In below a 5, I would just leave to the side. But these get a 6 out of 10. Done okay in the 201 Challenge. I thoroughly enjoyed throwing them. I hope you enjoyed me watching me throw them. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that little thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. If you take the time to leave a comment, I'll take the time to answer it. But most importantly, keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you on the next review.